Hey, how's it going? It's time to make some weapons. We've been doing some oil rig raiding, and this is what I've gotten. Uh, an epic laser rifle, an epic grenade launcher, rare plasteel helmet, a rare quad missile launcher. So this is pretty cool. And then a rare flamethrower. Okay, I guess you can come, and you can come. Alright. Can I, like, set them to... Yeah, like, I want to set you guys to this assembly line here. Why are you not letting me? Okay, perfect. And then production. There we go. All right. Okay, you guys ready to make something for me? Let's go with the epic grenade launcher first. Oof, that takes a while. Can I add in my own Anubis too? Or is there, like, max four at one time? Okay, it must be max four. Okay. Well, let's see if I can put something for you guys to work on. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Here. Yeah, the rare plus steel helmet. You guys can go ahead and start working on that for me. And I'll have to kind of, like, take off as I make them here. Yeah, this helmet's going to be done <laughs> way faster than this grenade. Everyone else chilling? Cooking up some more cake. Thank you guys. You guys are great. So let's go ahead and make sure to remove that one. Quad missile launcher. I don't think I can make any of the weapons here, can I? No. Why don't you guys make this for me, though? I don't actually have one of these lockpicks. So why don't we go ahead and make that lockpick? I know I probably should have made it a long time ago. I just haven't. I also... Ability glasses? I haven't made myself one of those. I don't think I need it. You know what I'm tempted to do? You guys want to see some something cool here? We're going to go ahead and just do a quick switch. Where's the weapons assembly? There we go. Let's go ahead and make this real quick. Yeah, build that for me. Alright, there we go. We're rolling. Two at once, two at once. Yeah, these, this grenade launcher is taking a minute and a half. Even this laser rifle's a little faster. Okay, so then we'll, we'll go make that, and we'll make that, and then we'll work on flamethrower and quad missile launcher. So essentially, we're upgrading every single one of our weapons, which is pretty nice. Where, where in the world do you think you're going? What are you doing? I need you to stay here. Are you guys just... I think they're grabbing food. Can you guys not grab food? Bro, no way all of y'all just abandoned. Come on, guys. What do you... What in the world are you looking... Is there some sheep bothering you, bro? Here, no problem. I got it. Don't worry about it. All right. It's almost done. Who's gonna win? This is, this is a race. Who's gonna win? Which team of Anubises gets an extra burger tonight? Ah, it looks like... Yeah, okay, nobody's getting a burger because you guys still took forever. All right, blue multi-guided launcher. Let's go ahead and make that. And then also the purple, or sorry, the blue flamethrower. Go ahead and make that. There we go. Laser rifle and then grenade launcher. And then once all of them are made, we will compare damages. I think that's the most fun part about making these new weapons is seeing how they were further improved. How much better they are. What? You know, while that's happening, I really should take this charcoal off the grill here. Looks like... Oh yeah, this missile... This guided launcher is going to take a minute. There's the flamethrower. Thank you. Big homies. Appreciate y'all. Alright. You know what? Let's go ahead and compare damages while that's being finished up. With the weapons that we currently have in here. Flamethrower... Grenade launcher and laser rifle. Okay. So our green one does 1437. This one does 1687. Grenade launcher does 3000. This one does 4000. Then the flamethrower does 450. And ours does 562. And then what about this? The plasteel helmet 312, 720, 338, 780. Going to replace that bad boy, and then 
Honestly, we'll stick these back in here, but I want to keep the grenade launcher with me. I will be keeping that one. Let's put these in here for now. We'll put that in there. Yeah, I want to try the grenade launcher, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put the pickaxe away too. Put these things in here. You guys almost done? Oh, because where are... Dude, where is everybody? Why are you guys all hungry? Alright, and there is our multi-guided missile launcher. Let's compare it to what we have. Where it is. Where did where, where I put it? 5,900 to 7,300. That is quite a bit of a jump, actually. Oh, this is going to be so good against the raids. It's going to be crazy how good this is. Um, Sadly, though, the raid is not today. We, we will have to wait a little longer for the raid. There's still some other preparations that I need to make. But I, you know what? I will take this grenade ammo with me. And um, for the sake of my own curiosity, how does the grenade launcher even work? Oh. I'll just do a little bunk. Bonk. Okay, I'll have to get used to like the drop of the bullet or the grenade. Bonk. I am loving that sound. Not gonna lie though. Bonk. Bonk. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, maybe maybe I'll uh, keep this on rotation. Hey, what's up, everyone? We're at the breeding base. We're breeding perfect Anubises, perfect Jetragons, and perfect Jorman Tides. Now, I've spent a good bit of time AFK collecting... Whoopsies, that didn't mean to send you out. One, two, three, four, almost five... Eh, yeah, like four-ish of these refined metal chests with all of these eggs. Now, we're going to go ahead and hatch each of them. And try our best to get as many perfect ones as possible to hopefully take into the raids. Once I collect enough really, really good ones, I'll go ahead and have to level them each to 55. And at that point, I'll also have to use souls to boost them further. Let me go ahead and just get rid of, uh, get rid of a couple so I could walk. And then actually, it would be smart of me to show you guys the pals that I'm actually breeding here. Just so you guys can get an idea. So far, we've gotten basically all crap, which sucks. These, eh, see, like, even th that, like, that's all right, but it's not great. That's pretty terrible. But, you know, I can't expect a perfect one every time. But I was hoping for a little better luck than this, to be honest. Here is what we're working with. Uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> let me let these pass real quick. Um, oh, hey, okay, that's a good one. Okay. So we got one decent one out of that. Let's see. Divine Dragon Serenity. Pretty terrible. Okay, I think that's all of them. So as far as the Jet Ragon, we've got Serenity, Legend, Muscle, Divine, and then Serenity, Legend, Muscle, Divine. So two perfect Jet Ragons as far as I'm concerned, breeding. As far as the Jormantides, uh, Serenity, Muscle, Ferocious, Legend, same thing. We've got two of them, two perfect ones. Then Anubis, Muscle, Legend, Ferocious, Serenity. Same thing, two of them. So essentially, all three of these are just attack pals for raids with basically the exact same things. Now, you guys might be saying, oh, that's not perfect. You need impatient or, you know, press or insert X, whatever move could be better. And I know, but um, this is what I'm working with. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, advice, opinions in the comments of how I could further improve them, feel free to leave them down in the comments. But for... The raid's coming up. This is what I'll be using. So, yes. All right. Whoops. Back to the eggs. Again, we're looking for a couple of perfect ones. Por favor. Hopefully we can get a few here. I only need like 20 or 30-ish. So, <laughs> yeah. You know. Hopefully. Okay, I think we've got... I mixed in a few Norman Tides on accident. What's nice about breeding, so like, obviously there's three different pals that we're breeding, but essentially I need the exact same moves on all of them. So it's pretty easy to see if we got a good pal, because all of them have the exact same traits. Which is pretty nice. 
Yeah, all these are pretty terrible. Like, I don't know how I breed two perfect pals and I still get things like Veil of Darkness. Okay, there is one Jormantide that's pretty good. No problem. We're rolling. Slowly but surely, we're rolling. Back to some Jet Ragons here. I need a lot of Jet Ragons. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't realize how many bad ones I had. Or, I guess I'll say the opposite. I guess I didn't realize my lack of good Jet Ragons. But surprisingly... Same deal with Anubises. I am, I am currently lacking of basically any decent Anubises. When I first started breeding them about a couple of weeks ago, I thought like, yeah, these are fine. They are indeed not fine. They are bad. I re-looked at them and I thought I must have been on some hardcore drug thinking that those were decent. I, I mean, I'm talking like... An Anubis with, like, Divine Dragon, one crappy skill, and, like, Ferocious, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. No. <laughs> it was not fine. So, that's why we're getting some more Anubises here, too, for basically the Phase 2, Plasmat Rio. Okay, that's a good Jet Ragon. Take those, we take those. Again, I don't know how we're ending up with Hooligan and Cold-Blooded, but... Yep, currently what I'm seeing is just a whole lot of fodder. But that's okay because there's always room in the world for more fodder for the bigger and better ones see I don't know where you're getting brittle from I do not want brittle hey there's another perfect German tide there we go there we go I wasn't looking did we get any perfect Anubises I don't know if we did there's another perfect German tide shout out there's German tide there's another good... Oh, no. Wait, that has Swift. Yeah, it doesn't have Legend. I need it with Legend, not Swift. May I will probably keep that one as a backup. Because there's nothing wrong with having backups, right? So maybe I'll keep that one as a backup. But Swift is not preferred. I'll say that much. Alright, here we go. Come on, give me some good Anubises. I'm really lacking in my Anubis game right now. I'm seeing plenty of good German tides, but I need more Anubises, please. Give me some good Egypt boys. Come on. Okay. Yeah, so after this, another really big job of mine is going to be going through all of these, making sure to favorite all of the ones that are perfect, uh, naming them, and then taking all the bad ones and condensing them into the good ones. Maybe we'll do some of that to... You know what? Why don't we just do it together? Does that sound like fun to everyone? Alright. I think that's all of my eggs. Alright, we'll have to leave some of those on the ground for now. Let's go back to the main base. Because the main base is where I have the condenser. And that's going to keep going for quite a little while. Actually, hold on. Before I do the condenser, I just need to find the good ones that I got so far. So here we go. Start from the top here. Um, That is good. Go ahead and favorite that one. Let's see. That one is good. We'll favorite that one. Good. Good. Ooh, good. Okay, we got quite a few Anubises, actually. Good to see. Good to see. This one is good. I'm going to keep this one. Even though it has Swift, I'm still going to keep that one. Keep that one. Yeah, we had a pretty bad streak right here. Okay. Now, I know there's probably also a few over... You know what? Let me sort by pal number. Whatever. Again, so many of these are, like, so close to being great. But it's okay, because I'm going to be spending a lot of time breeding. 
So we're in no rush to get, you know, really, really great ones. Wait, uh, no, I just need to go to 16 for this one. There we go. Let's get another one star roll in here. There we go. Two star, two star. I think all of these are... Oh, this is a one star. Uh, actually, hold on. Wait, wait. Did you lie to me? You're one star. Yeah, I was like, why? Why did it do that? Okay. And then, sure. We'll pump some more into you. Any other good ones? Okay. Maybe we'll just put a full 16 into this one. Let's condense this one fully. Why not? Or condense it to the second level, not fully. My bad. Okay. See, these aren't that great. I don't need Divine Dragon on... See, yeah, I'll have to... Ugh, yeah, I'll have to focus, uh, work on some of those there. Okay, I think that's all the Jormantides, though. Alright, okay. We did some condensating. We kind of picked out the ones that are good. Yeah, and if I was smart, I really would go through some of my old pals and... Basically, unfavorite, right? There are some favorited that probably shouldn't be. Alright everyone, it's a couple days later and I have a few more things to show you, but this is it. The start of next video will be me fighting Blazamut Ryu Ultra. I just want to show you the last bits of prep that I've made. First one, and this is something that I feel like I haven't seen in many other videos and no one's really told me in the comments, but bang. Look at all these multi-guided missile launchers. So. I did a few practice runs, obviously I got squished, but I was only using one multi-guided missile launcher. And the reload takes a long time, but you can save a couple of milliseconds between each reload if you swap exactly when like the number four hits, you can swap to another. And basically you can save a little bit of time, I think, on the reloads. Now, not along with maybe saving some reload time, you know, increasing my DPS, but also basically just getting, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine free, sh or technically eight free shots right off rip. So eight times four, 32, 32 times what, like 5k, 6k that we do. It is a lot of damage very quickly initially, which will hopefully help with the 10 minute timer. So again, no one has seemed to say anything about using multiple <laughs> guns, but I feel in my practice runs that having all of these guns actually increases my total DPS. So that'll be interesting. That's the first thing that I did. It cost a lot. <laughs> Let's see, how much does each one cost? Uh, oh, I guess I don't have the schematic with me. I'm pretty sure each of these costs over 200 plus steel, um, like 90 circuit boards, so it's not cheap. Along with that, I also managed to get myself a normal attack pendant. Now we'll have the plus two, plus one, 
along with the normal tag pendant. I went ahead and made myself some cheeseburgers, some carbonara. So cheeseburgers for the attack pals, carbonara for my defense pals, some things like, you know, that I'm riding. Um, yep, I have decent armor. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at my pals. In my party, I'll have my uh, Azerobe. Here we go, Vanguard, Burly Body, Legend, Celestial Emperor. I should probably put Stronghold on this, but uh, it's okay for now. Because uh, I'll be riding multiple Azerobe, so not like it really matters. Then we got four different Gobfins. Of course, each of them with Stronghold, Vanguard, uh, level 55. That's currently what we're running. All of them maxed out to the four stars, which is really, really nice. Now... Just as important, let's take a look at the pals that we'll be fighting with. I managed to, I think, get enough for this fight. Are they perfect? No, but will they work? Yes. I've got three spare Azerobes, as you can see, ride one, two, and three. They've all got Vanguard, they've all got Burly Body or Legend, um, and some have the Stronghold. So those are going to be my backups in case I need some help. I've got my Jormantides. I've got my main lineup here. So this is going to be my starting 15 here. As you can see, all of them have Legend, Serenity, Ferocious, and Musclehead. And I did actually use some souls on these guys. I haven't done this up until now. But I took every single one of them and put them up to at least 24% in health, attack, and defense. So as you can see, so I did increase or buff each of these guys using some souls. So again, that's going to be my starting, and then I'll have some backup Jormen Tides in case those die, which more than likely they will die. And then for the second phase, of course, Blaza goes into Thunder Mode. And I know it's optimal to use Orzerk, but I haven't, I've been having a lot of trouble getting decent Orzerks. So instead, I'm going to be using some Anubises. All level 55, again, all with Serenity, Legend, Ferocious, and Musclehead. And I've got about another team's worth of Anubises. Again, most of the damage is going to be done by my, you know, my missile launchers, but it's nice to have some beefy 55ers to hopefully hold them off while I shoot rockets at his face. So that's kind of what we're running. Uh, in the background, if things go really downhill, I have lots of Jet Ragons to just throw in there to hopefully protect myself. I've also got some Polidiuses, Necromuses, whatever, um, and some Frost Alliance just to throw in there if things really hit the pooper. And I think that's everything. That's kind of what we're going in with. Uh, my attack is maxed out. I've got plenty of missile ammo. I'm also going to be rocking one plus two defense pendant just for fun. I've got the Ultra Shield, Epic plus Steel Armor, and Rare plus Steel Helmet. So yeah, I think that's about it. Like I said, um, let's head over to where we're going to fight. Once again, it is going to be over by the Pen King area. A lot of people seem to really enjoy this spot for fights. Let me get my Fenglope. Yeah. So yep, yeah, this is where we're going to be fighting. Now, we can do this a few ways. We can go on the cliff up here and rain down rockets on the raid. We're probably not going to be doing that only for one reason. In my testing, if I go up here, Blasmut Ryu likes to go in this tree area. And for some reason, do you guys know that attack where he goes invisible and lunges at you? He seems to repeat that over and over again, nonstop. I don't know why that happens, but I've also seen it on a couple of videos and forums where people have like gone up there and they say, why won't he stop spamming this move? Because it's a really strong move and he disappears and it's a waste of DPS. So, we're likely going to stay on the ground here and just try to fight him normally. But it is a nice open space. As long as we don't get raided or something doesn't jump in, we should be uh, pretty much good to go. Yep, so like I said, that is kind of the preparation. Uh, when we actually start the fight... Oh, I don't have any of my weapons. Can I punch him? Thank you, Fenglobe. When we actually start the fight, since I have so much, so many burgers, so many carbonara, we're going to make sure to, you know, like, go through, like, let's, we'll, like, grab all of them before the fight, before we start, and, like, you know, I'm saying, like, feed them and stuff like that, too. So that's going to be pretty important to buff them up before we go in there. But yeah. 
that is all of the prep guys there's nothing left to do but the actual fight itself and like i said we're gonna start next video uh probably tomorrow maybe two days later depending but for sure next video we're starting right away with the fight no dilly dallying i think it's gonna be good guys i look forward to it keep an eye out on your subscription feed let's do it